Hello and welcome to Mr Morton Science Videos. I'm Mr Morton and this week we are looking at A-level chemistry past paper questions. As always, the paper I'm looking at is linked in the description below, so if you want to go at yourselves you can. This paper is AQA Chemistry Chem 1 Foundation Chemistry from June 2014 and we're looking at the last question, question 7. This question is all about the shape and uh, structure of molecules. Thallium is in group 3 of the periodic table. Thallium reacts with halogens to form many compounds and ions. Draw the shape of the TLBr thallium bromide ion and the shape of the thallium chloride ion. Include any lone pairs of electrons that influence the shape. You then need to name the shape made by thallium bromide and suggest a value for the bond angle for thallium bromide. This worth four marks. Okay, so we've got TLBr32 minus. Now thallium is in group three, so we've got three electrons on the outer shell. It is bonded with bromine, three, uh, three bromines, so we've got another three electrons, and it's a two minus iron, so we've got another two here. This gives us three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of electrons okay and eight pairs means it's going to be a trigonal pyramidal molecule so we'll draw that one with a TL in the middle we've got our three bromines coming off it and then that's two four six electrons we've accounted for so we're going to have one lone pair We'll draw coming out the top. That is trigonal pyramidal. Second part of the question is about thallium chloride Cl43 minus. Now again, thallium is in group three, so it has three electrons. We've got four chlorines, so that's another four electrons and then we've got a minus three charge so we've got another three there we add that up we get ten electrons which is five pairs so our shape will be trigonal bipyramidal and we'll draw that with a TL in the middle two chlorines in the same plane, one coming off into the foreground and one going off into the distance. And then at the top, because we've got four chlorines and five pairs, that means we must have a lone pair of electrons at the top. Now the question asks us for the shape of the bromide ion and a value for the bond angle. So I'm just going to put that one back. Normally in trigonal pyramidal, you'll have an angle of 109. But we take off two degrees for each of the lone pairs, so we get 107 degrees. That's our answer. Okay, seven part B. Thallium 1 bromide, TLBr, is a crystalline solid with a melting point of 480. That's high. Suggest the type of bonding present in thallium bromide and state why the melting point is high. Now, thallium is a metal. Bromine is obviously a group 7 non-metal, so our bonding is going to be ionic. The reason why the melting point is high is because it's going to form a giant lattice, which is what the crystalline solid is. And there are going to be lots of bonds. And these are going to be strong electrostatic bonds between the uh, positively charged metal uh, atoms so it's the positive TL ions and the negative 
bromine ions. Okay, three marks. One of them is saying ionic bonding, one of them is saying lots of bonds, and one for saying the positive and negative. 7C. Write an equation to show the formation of thallium bromide from its elements. Now it's important here to realise that it's about thallium 1 bromide, not the thallium bromide that was the earlier in the, on in the question. The thallium 1 bromide will be TLBr because 1 would have um, a charge of 1 and the bromine would have a charge of minus 1 because it's a halogen. So we need to go from TL to BR. Bromine is normally found as a diatomic gas and thallium is a metal so we can just do thallium. Now to make that balance, nice simple one, we just need to have two bromines on this side and then two thalliums to make it balance. So two thallium, probably a solid, plus bromine goes to two thallium bromide. Okay, thank you for watching my video today. If you have any questions, comment them in the link below and I'll see you in the next video.